Now, the Israeli offensive in the Gaza Strip has lasted for well over six months now. And yet, considering how small the territory of the Gaza Strip is, why do you think the Israeli military has failed in finding out where the hostages at this moment are held in the Gaza Strip? The main reason is because uh, fighting in an urban area is the most difficult type of combat in, in the world today, anywhere. I mean, we, we've seen that in, in the Ukraine-Russia war, in, in Bakhmut, in Avdivka, uh, several Donetsk, several other cities that, that just take an enormous amount of, of in, energy and, and troop combat and, and, and firepower. Uh, so the fact that most of the Gaza Strip is an urban area means that there is everywhere in the world for the Hamas fighters to to hide, whether it's in tunnels, whether it's in rubble, whether it's in other buildings. And there's literally tens of thousands of these things where they could hide. And then there's also the issue of how you even identify who is Hamas and who is not Hamas. And if you are actually trying to take care of the civilian population and not kill innocent people, mm -hmm. you've got to distinguish between the two. And that is very difficult to do. You know, also considering that how small Hamas, uh, the Gaza Strip is, it's smaller than the city of New York, for instance. Now, the other question that, that a lot of people have been wondering about is a potential ground invasion into Rafah. At this moment, we're given to understand that about 1.4 million Palestinians are perhaps sheltering in Rafah. And the Israeli forces, according to some of these videos that have now come up, we see their tanks and also their armored vehicles stationed very close to Rafah. Do you think with the preparations that have been made that the Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu is planning for a Rafa invasion that he's been talking about, will he go ahead with it? I don't see any question that he's going to go ahead with it. I, what I, the only thing that I do see uh, is lots of behind the scenes negotiations and diplomacy between the United States, the Arab regimes in the in the region, European regimes uh, or governments, uh, all of these people trying to come to some kind of understanding of and, and potentially stop this operation or at least make sure that there's humanitarian corridors set up where the people can be protected. But I, I don't see any evidence that uh, Netanyahu is, is willing to give in on this nor any of his cabinet members for that matter because they are just locked in, convinced that they can't win the war unless they defeat these so-called final four battalions in, in the Rafa area. But as I think I've said many times, uh, it's a fool's errand because it doesn't matter what they do in Rafa. They are creating so many more enemies than they ever take out of Hamas that the end state will probably be worse security-wise for Israel than it was on October 7th. That's the harsh truth.